Good morning and welcome to St. Lomans Park in Trim on a beautiful autumn uh, Sunday morning. Great uh, day for a game of hurling. Rory Dowling here and I've, I've Maudie Power here helping me uh, with the commentary this morning. And we've got uh, Brian Dowling on camera. Um, just quickly run through the teams. The trim team uh, in goals, Evan de Courcy, full-back line, Jack Dowling, Jimmy Canty, who's the captain, and Kyle McCabe. Half-back line, Owen Lenehan, uh, Cahill Birmingham, it's an interesting name to see on the team sheet this morning, and Ronan Keane. Midfield, we've got Rory McGrath and uh, Johnny McAvoy. Half-forward line, Oshin, we're in 10, Oshin Hackett. Uh, Centre-forwards, we're in 11, Jamie Hackett. And uh, number 12, Patrick Lennon. And the inside forwards, 13, Andy O'Brien, 14, Leighton Massey, and 15, Sean Foley. We'll run through the... We have a bit of trouble getting the boards mill team. We were sent the team sheet in Irish, and uh, Maudie's Irish isn't really up to it, so... <laughs> We got Brian went down to speak to some of the to, to TJ or Vinny Guy or somebody in the boards mill line there, and we got we got uh, all we got was uh, nicknames. So we'll uh, we'll we'll make do with that as we go through the game. But we're just about underway here. Martin Dawson, the referee, throws the ball in. Johnny McAvoy out in front, the ball bouncing around, and boards mill win the ball early from the break. And it's a good run there to the middle of the field from Mackey. Is it? My Still pull, moving around there, but a uh, good pick up from Jimmy Canty. Hand pass the ball out the wing towards, I think that's Rory McGrath there, but the ball is picked up again. Played into the middle. Kyle McCabe goes, facing his own goal, but manages to get something on it. And the ball comes out. Johnny Mack picks the ball here now. He turns inside. I would maybe prefer to see him going the other way, but anyway, he gets a long, good long clearance down. Jamie Hackett underneath it here for Trim. Oh, that's well taken there by the centre back. Birdie. Birdie from Boards Mill. There's an advantage here for Boards Mill, but the referee is playing on, and it's a good ball inside to the forward line, but it's broken away. Kyle McKay again coming out strongly for the ball for Trim. Does Cahill Birmingham is there, but he gets robbed, and the ball is played in, and it's the opening score of the game for Boards Mill. And it was the, 13, was it? It was the number 13, was it? Sure. Yeah, it's difficult to identify the, the Boards Mill players with, <laughs> Eric, the, with the numbers as well. Eric, uh, with the yellow helmet. Um, just direct ball in, uh, kind of sluggish start there from Trim in the first minute or so. Uh, Couple of uncontested catches for Boards Mill. Oshin Hackett. Here wearing number wearing number twelve. Actually he's down number ten on the team sheet, but he's wearing number twelve. A bit of confusion that Jamie Hackett and Johnny McAvoy going for the same ball. Johnny this time gets it in the second hand picks. Doesn't get the pick, but pulls the ball along the ground towards Andy O'Brien coming out. Andy wearing number twenty. This is the pick. The ball breaks again towards Rory McGrath. Andy looked like he might have got a shove in the back there, but the referee lets play on. Andy kicks the ball on. And it's a good clearance there. The board's mill down towards Kyle McCabe's side again. The ball breaks inside. It's, it's Ash takes a bit too many steps, I think, there. But the referee lets him away with Jimmy covering, covering well. Clears the ball out to the line. Cahill misses it. It's by, and it's again, early, st early stages here. Board's mill number 11 is getting plenty of ball. It's a strong run. He's going to strike it off his left. Looks pretty good. And it's going over the bar. Yeah, it's a good finish by the number 11. Uh, Jimmy uh, intercepted the ball coming in and played it out to Cahill. And I think again, Cahill just missed the pick. And we've missed four or five picks already here. Uh, four or five poor first touches in the first couple of minutes. So two points to no score to Boards Mill in the early stages. But worryingly, as Maudie said, Trim are not really getting on anything, any clean ball. Another tackle missed there from the Trim lads. Another tackle missed. It's a great run here down the field. From Bona, and he's uh, judged that fouled Rory McGrath, who did well back to covering back there, and it's going to be a free out from the cornerback position for Trim. Nobody really. Yeah, not uh, too many volunteers to take. No, us. no, there isn't. Owen Keane here steps forward. Decides to leave, and Jimmy Canty comes out to take it. <coughs> nice crowd here this morning. Um, Along the fence here below us, enjoying the sunshine. Jimmy plays the ball down towards Leighton Massey, but there's two men there on him. Leighton fighting hard. Looks like it's going to be a good battle there between Leighton and the, and the, and the fullback there for Boards Mill. Oh, there's an acre of space here in the middle of the pitch, Boards Mill. With confusion amongst their, their own players. But again, they're runners. Oshin Hackett trying to get back there for Trim. It's a good pick. Oh, he looks like he played the ball on the ground. Referee allows play to continue. Cahill gets a good stick in, Rowan Keane with a nice pick, 
strikes off his left towards the middle of the field, goes over everybody, Jamie Hackett comes onto the ball right in the middle of the field here, plays the ball in towards the, the trim forwards are slightly behind their men here, the opening stages, Leighton is kind of working hard there but he just cannot get clean ball. Ball played down this near side, well taken. To strike, but I think that's maybe just wide, yeah. Yeah, it's just going to go wide. A little bit of a let off uh, trim there, I think, Moni. Yeah, Boards Mill uh, doing all the hurling to start with here. We're uh, kind of second best in behind our men, um, struggling to get the ball into the hands of our full forward line. Good puck out, though, and we're free. Good puck out from Evan there, <coughs> down towards Patchy Lennon. We're in 10. <coughs> Fouled. Looks like Johnny McAvoy moving over to take that free. So we four and a half minutes gone here in the opening half. Boards Mill two points, trim yet to score. Johnny tries to play a low ball in towards O'Shean Hackett. Go on, goes through O'Shean, comes on to Andy O'Brien. Andy needs to get his, takes his pick in the second time. Turns one way, then the other, then gets on a bit of a run. He's a man outside, Sean Foley's outside. Randy decides to go through the middle towards Jamie. Can Jamie get something on it? He's going to play it on the ground. Not the best option there. I think Jamie should try and get that ball in his hands, I think. Yeah, I think and Andy had a chance gone. there. If he had a, <coughs> had a shot on his left, he had a little bit of time and decided to take it into contact. A lot of action, a lot of play coming down this near side for Boards Mill in the, in the opening half. And young Ash there is doing well, getting on some ball. They're not clearing their lines. Well hooked, Carl Burnley. Good hook. Over the Carl. Broken Jimmy's in trouble here, he needs to get something on it. Yeah, Jimmy needed, he was lucky there, he had to make something there, the man had gone inside, there was an overlap there. Jimmy had to do something. Johnny Mack there, under a bit of pressure, gets a good pick, tries to break the tackle, does well. Does well off his left hand side. He's half hooked, but he's managed to get a clearance away. The ball goes in front there. Andy O'Brien puts his hand up. Gets a wrap on his fingers. Yeah, nice little wrap on the knuckles on a cold morning. Uh, Johnny McAvoy seems to be the most, uh, the busiest, the most active of the trim players so far. Getting on a good bit of ball, doing a lot of work. He uh, needs a bit of help from Rory McGrath there around the middle. Quick line ball taken here. Andy O'Brien towards Rory. Rory plays the ball in there. Leighton coming out for it strong. <coughs> bit of a pull there behind Leighton. Leighton is down, but I say he'll be all right. He gets up. Oh, Jamie Hackett there. Judge the foul, his man. Yeah, soft enough for you out, I think. A um, little bit of afters. You'd expect that with a local rivalry. You would, I don't think there's too much in it. The referee just going to try and calm everything down. I think he's calling Jamie Hackett over the initial foul. I think that's flared that up. Yeah, just watching Leighton Massey off the ball there. He is struggling a little bit there. Seems to be feeling his hip, I think. He's waved off the physio attention though, so I think he's going to be okay. Yeah. Be okay. <laughs> and the referee encouraging the players to calm themselves down <laughs> in his own in his own unique style. Uh, hopefully the players will listen to him and let's get on and enjoy a game of hurling here. Only yeah, he's just after saying to play ball. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, trying to switch it off yeah, completely. Very loose. very loose there. Short three, Boards Mill worked in towards the middle again. Jimmy has decided to stay off his man, the sweep, and it was the right choice with the ball broke to him. Jimmy in front of the goals, tries to get it out towards Owen Lennon. And Lennon, they give Harden, and that seems to be a 65. No, the umpire has waved it wide. Yeah, you can see there, Jimmy uh, has played at a higher level. He's read that a long way off that the full forward was getting nowhere near that ball, and he caught it in behind. Another good puck out by Evan. Hatchy Lennon again wins the ball, pushing the back. That's a couple of good puck outs there from, from, from Evan into the open space there. The trim really to get, get a platform in this game. Jimmy with the free, long, straight down the middle of the ground. It's heading towards Leighton Massey, but it's a good stick there, but it's broken out to Jamie Hackett. Can he get his pick? Bit of a wild pull there, but the referee lets play yeah. to continue. Jamie tries to hold his man up. Good tackle with trim forwards yeah, there. Sean yeah, Foley good. in there helping Jamie. But on the second attempt, Boards will clear the lines. Johnny Mack there, just misses his pick. Mistimed his jump there, I think jumped a bit, a bit, a bit too early. Two versus one though, I don't know where the rest of the trim players are. But young Owen, Lennon, yeah, well read, we well read there. plays a lovely ball out to the side. It's a perfect ball, but look, the, Rory McGrath just completely caught wrong footed there. This man can't catch the ball again, he's overplayed it, plays it in towards the middle. Carl comes away from his man, takes it into contact, breaks the tackle, moves away. Turns onto his right, plays a lovely ball, great, over the top there, it's going to be young Sean Foley comes out, 
Now Sean has a bit of space. Gets his pick. going to take his man on. Tries to go inside him. He's kind of held up. No, the referee allows play to continue. Sean had plenty of space inside or outside there, but he just got bottled up. Boris Miller playing nice stuff here early on. Yeah, Jimmy's done well there. Yeah, so to break the ball away from full forward, actually. Uh, just Jack the last Dowling. one, I think. Jack Dowling. Sean, Sean Foley could have maybe tapped it on the hurley there and brought it on again rather than try to play it. I think so. Maybe he was entitled to free as well. Jimmy with the free, doesn't quite get a clean strike on it, but comes towards the middle of the field. Ronan Keane underneath it. Does well. Uh, yeah, okay, looking he dived after it there, yeah, yeah. free in. Caught his man, there's a free in the middle of the field. So just to remind you of the score, it's two points to no score still to Boards Mill, and we're nine and a half minutes into the first half. Boards Mill will be the liveliest team here in the open stages. Free right in the middle of the field. Good looking strike. It's heading in towards the goals. Yeah. Wave wide. Wave wide. Point, yeah. Evans, of course, he can poke out this time straight down the middle of the ground. Patchy gets half a hand on it, but the ball is broken. Ball's Miller on top here in midfield. Ball goes over Carl's head and the inside forwards. Owen Lennon in challenging. His man gets the ball away to Dane. This ball's going to drop, I think, in, in on top of Evan. Evan just with the hand up and yeah, okay, did the right thing and the ball popped over the bar. So it's the third point for Boards Mill, trim yet to score. Yeah, Lovely low ball. Yeah, I think Evan uh, was getting a call from some of his teammates to go quickly and uh, Evan was reminding him he needs to wait for the referee's whistle. Yeah, Jamie Hackett had come from centre forward position right to the wing back here almost to try and get on the ball. It looks like Jamie has actually gone into midfield here. There's been a change, and, and Rory McGrath has gone has gone uh, to centre forward here. For yeah, no, the nine for Boards Mill looks a very strong runner. Um, Rory probably hasn't played a whole, a whole lot of hurling or football this year. He's been out with injury, so maybe feeling the effects. Boards Mill worked this. The line ball and so Dane this ball in towards the forward line but Evan should deal with this he does catches it very well clears comes out makes it the space has a little look behind him the half blocks half hooks they say on the line, line and it's a lovely tidy it's finish it's a very very good finish there from the board's middle number 10 Bert <laughs> that's Bert McLaughlin who's a classmate of mine Ronan Keane fixed the ball on well. O'Shane Hackett, who hasn't really got into the game these early stages, does well this time. Plays the ball, but it's going to be a boards middle line ball, I think. Down here in front of us. Yeah, it is indeed. Bernard McLaughlin coming over here. Knee heavily bandaged. And your classmates still playing, Modi. You wouldn't be interested, you wouldn't uh, fancy it, no? You're still no, playing. I'm enjoying watching Bert out there. <laughs> Ball is played down into the corner. The ball is full forward here for Boards Mill on the second attempt. And an orthodox sort of a ball in towards the middle of the field. Ronan Keane has to go a bit harder for that ball, I think, for Trim. Manages to force his man away from the goals. He gets the pick and very easily goes by him. And he's bearing down on the goals here. Trim looking a bit of problem, trouble here. Owen comes out with a great block there. Who's that, Jimmy? Is it Jimmy Canty who comes out with a brave block? Or Jack Dowling, I think it was. And Owen Lennon keeps the ball moving out in front of him. Andy is back helping out Andy O'Brien. They need to start getting winning these dirty balls now. They're starting to move in the back. Andy with a wild pull yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I think so. The referee's yeah, wild pull by Andy. Uh, Owen Leenan could have been a little bit stronger there and tackle on the boards mill man running through. Um, Jimmy did well to get the block in, and yeah, as you said, Rory, a, a little bit of a wild pull there by Andy and a definite free in. That's another score there. Burks, from Burks. Yeah. Uh, only that's five points to no score. Trim just haven't really, haven't really threatened in around the around the board. No, I don't think yet. we've had a wide yet. Or uh, boards my goalkeeper Vinny Guy hasn't uh, hasn't had to take a puck out yet. Puck out in towards Jamie Hackett. Breaks away from Jamie. And two Trim men run into run into him. Oh, but Oshie and picks up the break of ball. Tries to play it out towards Patchy. A strong challenge from the, the wing back there from Boards Mill. Clears the ball down the field. Own Lennon in there, strong, helping out. 
Rory, trying, Rory McGrath trying to get something but the ball is played over the head there but Pashi manages to bat it down Oh, Rory is in there does well trying to get his pick again there's two boards mill around him and soft enough free there is awarded to Trim so a chance maybe here for Trim to get something is Johnny Mack going to take the free again he went short but he went with a low ball into the forwards the last free he had so I don't know if this one is in his range yeah there's a lot of a big space there in front of, uh, of Leighton Massey and Sean Foley that we've taken his time boards mill have, have got in there but we could do with a score now in this attack better strike from Johnny but still short he's going to drop down just around the edge of the square Leighton tries to get something on it but Vinny is there Vinny Guy is there clears the ball away from the danger zone Patchy missed the pick misses his pick the first time but does he strong he holds off the challenge gets his pick the second time for, slips tries to play the ball back towards Johnny Mack Johnny with the pick turns onto his right plays the ball back with Bob Johnny there plays the ball back to Patchy is he going to shoot from there it's an awkward angle he takes a shot it's going to cross the goals is it, even, is it going to go wide it, it does it's gone wide yeah, very cute angle for uh, Patchy to be taking on a shot there. He could have taken his man on or worked the ball across. The ref, I think, is, is he calling a water break or what's he calling? Yeah. Yeah, he's calling the water, break. water break. So I think the water break is coming at a good time for Trim. They've been under the cosh here since the game started. Boards Mill, by far the livelier team. Um, the score, five points to Boards Mill. Trim, yet to score. And that was the first, that, that last passage to play with the ball played wide. It was the first time Trim had the ball anywhere near the, uh, the Boards Mill goals. So, Molly, they really need to up the intensity here and start getting oh, on the ball. Oh, big time. I mean, um, you know, you talk about the middle eight. Um, Boards Miller on top in midfield, half back line and half forward line. So, um, we're struggling and we can't get the ball into the hands of our full forwards. They said we've only had one shot at goal, which was Patsy's one there from a, a pretty acute angle. Um, our touch looks a bit off and we're kind of second to everything. So, it's a. Uh, not a good news story so far for the first 15 minutes. No, it's not. And in fact, Jimmy Canty is, you know, and Jack Dowling in the full back line here have got in some last minute blocks here, which so the score could have been a lot worse, actually, you know. Yeah. Um, but hopefully they'll make, take advantage of this water break. Sometimes they can be a momentum changer in games. Um, so we'll see. Words of wisdom, like CJ's in the middle there trying to rally the troops. Yeah, I suppose when we have the break, Rory, we might get a, a quick comment uh, about yesterday. M not the performance we were looking for, but absolutely the result we were looking for. Absolutely, yeah. I think um, we were very, very fortunate. Uh, but we kept going. We kept going to the very end, um, which is which is what it was a great sign, fairness to the lads. Um, we, we were scrambling really there in the, towards the end, but we kept going. And yeah, I suppose that break. is the massive positive, is that we played until the, the 64th, 65th minute, whatever it was, and we never gave up. We, ne we never gave up, and we got we got the we got the lucky break. Nearly bundled the ball into the goals there, at the, at the, you know, at the very end. And then we got the goal just before that. I think uh, James Andrews was claiming it. I'm not sure if he actually got out on it on the ball, the long ball that was in towards the square. And James ran across the front of the goalkeeper. Claims he got a little flick on it, but I'm not sure if he did or not. But look at it, yeah, we kept going, and it was kind of a, we were a bit disrupted uh, during the week in preparation, getting, preparing for the game. We had we had a couple of injuries um, going into the game with some of our key players, and then. Connor quickly picked up a bit of an injury, you know, a little bit of calf strain and training on Thursday night, and that disrupted our plans and even picking the team and everything. So, yeah, um, and although like everything is pos positive with the club being involved in, in football for the intermediate football final and the hurling final and the intermediate semi final yesterday, like it is kind of taking its toll on, on some of the players with all these games coming taken fast. Yeah, absolutely, but it, it sure is. But you know, that's what we have a squad for. You know, I think it was it was, it was anticipated that that was going to be the case. We kind of knew. Coming back after you know a three or four month layoff with the with the with the lockdown and all that, that you know it was highly likely that players were going to pick up knocks. Um, so look, that's not, not an excuse in any in any way, but you have to just you have to just deal with those sort of things and, and just get on. But yeah, we're there when the football final next weekend and the hurling final the week after. So it's going to be it's going to be great up here now training and, and the next couple of weeks. You know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, pretty generous water break there as well. Yeah, it sure was. It break. sure was. <laughs> Any guy with a long puck out. <laughs> Down towards the dugout outside, there's a boardman man all on his own here. The ball goes through his fingers, over the back here. Owen Lennon in there trying to fight. Jamie Hackett back there fighting again. Jamie getting involved again off the ball. And they calm himself down a little bit. But Owen comes away with the ball. Only doesn't get a proper clearance on it. And it's again, it's the board's mill man is first to the ball. It's a dangerous ball dropping in towards the goals. Pearls flying. But young Evan, of course, he does very well. Comes off his line, yeah, clears his line nicely. Oshin, a bit of pace, gets out in front of his man. He needs to get his pick. Misses the first pick. He's in there. He gets it, does well. Second pick, tries to hand pass it on to Johnny. 
Mack and it's flicked out, it's going to be a sideline yeah, ball. Well, she uses his body there after missing the pick, uses his body very well to get over the ball and, and win possession. <coughs> Uh, Evan, of course, he looks very composed in goals for us. Uh, you know, probably our most involved player so far, but uh, he's doing well. He is, yeah. Evan's been playing very well actually this year. Johnny's sideline ball goes straight to the board's mill, number seven, so Trim completely switched off. Not only, you know, that was a criminal now for a sideline ball to go straight to a, a, a man, a Trim lads, yeah. off the ball and should be really stepping up. You know, there was an incident earlier on where the left half back for board's mill had, you know, any amount of time to play the ball in, so no pressure on the ball from Trim. An advantage, an advantage yeah, being played here back. for the first. The board's mill number five cut, yeah, again, cut we that need our, out. We need our midfield and, and half forward line to be putting a lot more pressure on the yeah. on the board's mill man on the, in possession. Bloody cut that puck out from Evan. Was fouled as he tried to hand pass the ball inside. The referee allowed advantage to continue. Uh, nothing came of it, so the referee correctly brought the play back. And it's another free for all his classmates here. He scored a few now already. This is the good one. Yeah. I think that's his third one, I think. Um, the older the fiddle, the sweeter the tune, yeah. I think to say, Rory. <laughs> <laughs> Evan goes this side with the puck out. Jamie Hackett out, gets the ball, plays a nice ball in, but again, Patchy Lennon is just not reading the play. Yeah. The ball's just not going his way. Portsmouth worked the ball here, and again, Jack Dowling gets turned quite easily. Ball in towards now. Uh, okay, unlucky. Unlucky from Portsmouth point of view. It was a good ball, he had a half yeah, yard. I'm not, not sure if Jimmy read that he was going to miss that or he just caught a yard off him, but uh, it goes wide anyway. Evan with a high puck out this time towards O'Shane Hackett. He flicks it on towards Jamie. Jamie with a nice pick. Tries to work it. Ah, Jamie, move it on. Gets it in the second time, turns onto his other side. Plays a good ball this time in towards Sean Foley. It's going to go over his head. No, it doesn't. The corner back there for Boards Mill does very well, Broke breaks the ball. And Boards Mill are coming out all too easily out of the defence with the ball. Another ball in towards Jack Dowling and Kyle McCabe. Oh, there's an overlap here, there's an overlap, but Jack does well. And Kyle does well that time, but the ball does find the ball to Eric and he turns. And Evan just shepherds the ball wide. So another, another lucky break there, I think, for Trim. Um, yeah, so again, it came from the ball that was in our forward line and uh, we just we can't get a strike a goal we can't hold on to possession and boards mill very easily working up the pitch well Shane Hack is starting to get more involved in the game now plays a good ball in towards Andy O'Brien but Andy misses his pick that's all too easy again boards mill are coming out with the ball clear towards the middle of the field Owen Lennon in there challenging oh but there's another overlap I know Trim have completely switched off Carl Gramming will cut out of position the ball is played in and that's a good score from the middle of the field. Yeah, very good score. Uh, I don't know whether he didn't fancy running with it, but there was about 25 yards of space in front of him, but a good strike and over the bar. Carl just got caught there. He followed the ball out behind Owen Lennon and when the ball was turned over. Roland Keane this time breaks the ball towards Johnny Mack. Johnny turn, you know, he's under a bit of pressure here, but knocks the ball back to Carl. Carl goes long. This is not the type of ball Sean Foley wants, but it's in there anyway. Sean does well. He's trying to keep the ball going. He gets inside. He's trying to flick it in towards Andy O'Brien. Leighton in there helping. Leighton gets, holds his man up, fighting hard for the ball. Jamie just didn't get his pick, but it comes out to Patchy Lennon. Patchy goes with a low shot in towards Vinny oh, yeah, yeah. oh. And it's gone into the goals. Not one that Vinny no. Guy will put into a scrapbook, no. I don't think. Uh, not a great strike with Patchy, but just one that kind of dribbled along the ground, went between Vinny's legs. I think um, the, the plastic there, sometimes you know, the ball hits us that plastic yeah. patch in front of the goals and it can, it can alter the bounce of the ball. I think Vinny just misread it. And a, a score that Trim were crying out for uh, one goal to, to seven, seven points. Seven points. 22 and a half minutes gone in the first half. Vinny goes long towards his own Lennon side. The ball breaks. Cahill seems to be in front of his man here, but he's running towards his own goal. He gets a nice pick. He's under a bit of pressure. No, he's bottoms out a bit of a, yard, a half a yard here. Oh, he missed a strike on his left and he kicks the ball this time to Kyle McCabe. Kyle goes down low, pick, he's under pressure, under pressure with the strike, didn't get a clean one. And the ball comes to Bert McLaughlin. Bert with a fine looking ball in towards. Ah, that's a fabulous score. A fabulous score from this near sideline. And Bert, I think that's fourth or fifth points that he, that, um, he scored. And the yeah. board's mill forward. I don't remember Bert striking it like that in the mid 90s now, to be honest. <laughs> and again, another wave of blue and white coming towards the trim goals. This ball goes in, and Jimmy is caught by pace, and the ball has moved in. Can oh, Evan does very well in the goals. Jimmy, the second attempt, picks the ball up and comes out, and somehow Trim managed to clear their lines. Kyle is coming out towards the side, uses his body, but there's two men there. 
There's two men there around him. Kyle does well. Kicks the ball out. Ronan Keane in there helping. He's got a hand, a hand in the back there. Gets away with it. The ball back towards Bert again, who's on fire here this morning. Turns onto his left side. Then he goes back into his right. Plays a lovely ball across the goals. Jack Dowling comes out. He misses it. Jimmy going on a strong challenge. Jack is there. And somehow Trim have managed to keep the ball away. And Johnny Mack is back helping out. Gets the ball up. Moves. He's going to get a strike on his left hand side. But there's four blue sh shirts here closed in on that ball. I don't know where all the Trim players have gone, but there's none of them there in the middle of the field. And it's a great ball in the number six. Proper in towards Jimmy Canty. Goes up high again. This time the ball is broken. Jack Dowling clears his lines. The board's middle player just got a bit of a bang during that incident and he stayed down. I think he just maybe got himself winded the way he fell. But the full back line here with Trimmer under all sorts of pressure, yeah. Muddy. And again, that, that even that clearance were a little bit lucky that the referee did blow it up. There was kind of four boards mill men and, and two trim men. Um, you know, Jimmy and, and Jack Dowling there at the back are and Evan de Corsi are under serious pressure there. Our cameraman uh, Brian Dowling has to leave us now. He's to go to a um, meeting, f football team meeting. Brian, is that correct? He's confirmed that off camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the show goes on here. The intermediate footballers in the team meeting getting to plan their week ahead, preparing for next Saturday's final. Um, good battle going on here. The, I think the between the fourteen for Boardsville and Jimmy Canty, yeah. the two lads are going har hammer and tongs at it. It's it's great stuff to watch. Yeah, I think Jimmy's enjoying the, the high balls coming in. He yeah. doesn't he doesn't want the low ball. <laughs> I think say Jimmy's probably on top there for the first yeah, twenty five minutes anyway. Was, yeah. Yeah. I think um I think that he just fell a bit awkwardly, I think, in the way wherever he landed the balls in the lad fell. But he's okay, seems to be okay to resume. The referee did the right thing, I think stopping the play and allowing treatment to go into him. And the, we're gonna recommence here with is he gonna throw the ball in? I think he is gonna throw the ball in here. Yeah. So Maudie has now taken over camera duty as well as as well commentary duty. You make a double pay for that, Maudie. Sunday Sunday yeah. rates and everything. I'd have to check the contract. Uh, he's actually it's free oh, to trim. Yeah, trim must have possession. We have possession, ball. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So an indirect free here, Jimmy Canty. Plays a low ball in towards Leighton. Now Leighton needs to get on the ball. Oh, Ushian Hackett breaks the ball actually away from Leighton. Leighton goes in well, keeps the ball alive, but it's going over the sideline. And the referee has given the line ball to Trim. Leighton having a bit of banter here with the, with the full back. Tapped him on the back of the helmet with the ball. All in good sport, I think. So Jamie Hackett getting ready to take the sideline ball on the near side here. Oh, it's a great ball from Jamie. Strike, Brilliant yeah. ball right across the goals. Who's there in the far side? Johnny Mack gets the ball, picks up, oh, and a goal! Great goal. Great, great <laughs> goal. A good ball in by Jamie Hackett and a well caught and finished by Johnny Mack. Um, and again, a badly needed score from Trim. There's now only two points in it. So somehow, after 25 minutes of play, somehow Trim are right back in this game. Eight points board the middle, two goals to Trim. Ball on the Ronan Keane, he does well, breaks it down. There's two Trim men around it. And Kyle McCabe got a half a block on, the, on that ball, and it's a sideline ball for board the middle right down here in front of us. Short one, or sorry, a quick one taken. Goes backwards here. Oshin Hackett closing down this man. You gotta hold him up, Oshin. Hold him up. Does well. Does well. Aye, the referee's playing an advantage. So, but, uh, very strong running again from the number nine here for Boards Mill. The ball is flicked over Jimmy Canty's head. Jack Dowling is there, kicking the ball clear. Own Lennon, Lennon running out. Forcing his man away from the goals. But he turns and gets a good strike, a lovely That's strike. Good and a very yeah, good very score. Good score. Very good score yeah, the, some of the Boards Mill scores have been very, very good. And there's a sub coming in for Boards Mill already. Sean Number Dixon. 21, Sean Dixon coming in. And it is the full forward is going off, so he obviously hasn't recovered from the previous uh, bang that he cut. So Sean going in here on, on Jimmy. So just a reminder of the score, nine points boards mill, two goals to trim. The referee just letting the time to the boardsman player to go off the field. So Evan with a puck out, straight down the middle of the round. Jamie Hackett and Ronan Kane, two men go over the ball, but it breaks through to Johnny. Johnny on fire after getting that last goal. Now this time, can Leighton get something on it? It goes through Leighton. Sean Foley comes out to it. You need to pick Sean, you need to be stronger than that, Sean. It comes out to Leighton. Leighton, route one from Leighton, plays it in, and oh, over the bar. A bit more like it. Yeah. 
Very little back lift there from Leighton and a, a good strike over the bar. Um, and that hopefully that those couple of goals have uh, put a bit of life into Trim. 2-1 Trim, nine points boards mill. Both has on Lanham's wing. Owns doing very well here against a physically bigger man. It's half a block on the ball from the middle of the field. Bert's out in front of again. Ronan Keane does well. Plays the ball. And Sean, come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. Come hard for that ball. And again, Sean, just not quite strong enough there, but he does manage to keep the ball alive. Oh, somehow another Sean has come away with the ball. I don't know how he managed that. Tries to get a strike. Turns inside. Oh, and he doesn't quite get the strike. Drops it short. Vinny Guy with a long, long clearance right into the half forward line here. Jack Dowling's man out in front of him. Jack gets a bit of half, half a tackle on him and Owen is back helping out. Owen, ah, lovely pick from Owen. Clears his lines very well towards Rory McGrath. Rory with a nice touch. Takes the ball in the stick. Plays a great ball in again, but Leighton is just in behind his man this time. He's chasing back, Leighton. And the fullback does well. Shovels the ball towards the far side. A bit of a wild swipe there, but <laughs> eventually it comes off Johnny Mackin over the sideline. And it's going to be a, a, a ball for sideline ball for Boards Mill. So we're just coming up to the 30 minute mark here. Nine points boards mill, 2-1 to trim. They're right back in this game. Sideline ball played down the side. Jack Dowling going towards it. Sean Dixon is out there. His first involvement in the game since he came on. Turns one way, then he turns the other, gets the ball across. Cahill Birmingham has read it well. Gets the ball, clears, great, great ball, Cahill. Down, it's going to look clear over the boards mill. Man, it does, towards Leighton Massey. Leighton misses it. Again, there's three boards mill. This is three boards mill there every time the ball breaks. <laughs> so the ball is over the far side. Three or four lads in there, and the referee's going to throw the ball in, I think. The ball was on the ground there, it wasn't coming clear. So the referee is going to throw it in. Yeah, I think, uh, Rory, if we get into half time now with two points in it, regroup, uh, it wouldn't be a bad result after the. You know, the open 25 minutes performance. Good clearance there towards the middle of the field. Jamie Hackett gets a nice pick, striking it off his left. That's a better ball into the forwards. Leighton's out in front this time. The man is up, up behind him, but the ball, Leighton breaks the ball towards Patrick Lennon. Patrick running, he's under a bit of pressure. And it, oh, saw a very soft free there for Trim. I thought that was a clean, a clean tackle there, but the board's mill half back on Patrick. But um, we'll take the free. Yeah, I think if it was given against us, we. Uh we wouldn't like it at all though, but uh, yeah, we'll take it. So it should be just coming up to half time, this hopefully will only put a point between the teams. It looks like Leighton is going to step up to take the free. So we're into injury time here at the end of the first half. You can see the scoreboard there in the distance. 2-1 to trim, 9 points towards the mill. Leighton not, e not the easiest of freeze, it's a tricky enough angle for him. It's going to be low. It's a low trajectory, but it goes over the bar. It's late in the second point. And the referee calls the ball here, is he? No, he's just allowing the ball to build there to swap, yeah. swap pearlies. Vinny with a long puck out straight down the middle of the ground. It's going to go over Ronan's side this time. Onto that man Bert again. Bert is running in. He's got players right and left trimming a bit of brother here. Jack Dowling does well. Oh, it's deflected. And after all the good defensive work there that Trim had done up to now, it was a, a fortunate goal with the very last puck of the first half. Bert was running through with the ball there, trying to get his, struck, his strike away. The ball was blocked and the deflection just took the ball past Evan de Corsi and into the goal. Yeah, so a, bit of a bit of a hammer blow there just before half time. Um, Bert McLaughlin again running through the middle. Um, being by far the, the best player on the pitch, I'd say. Um, and Jimmy, a bit unfortunate, stuck the hurl out to block it and deflect, actually deflected the pass to Evan de Corsi to open in goals. And, you know, from saying we're only a point behind, uh, Boards Mill get the last score to half. That's now 1 9 to Boards Mill, 2 2 to Trim at half time. Yeah, but the Trim half forward line uh, in particular, I think, Maudie, just haven't really got a foothold in the game. You know, there's been a lot of, you know, puck outs or clearances yeah. from our defence seem to be <coughs> landing there, but the Boards Mill guys seem to be coming out time and time again with the ball. We just haven't really. Got a you know established a foothold in the game at all to, to, to be able to move no. the ball. Jamie Hackett in the last five minutes has probably been a little bit more prominent, but you know um, 
we mentioned a few good puck, short puck outs by Evan Tobin in, in front of Patchy Lennon and Ushin Hackett, but, but we didn't actually secure possession out of them. They were, you know, they, again, we're just saying the touch is a little bit off. Uh, we probably need to see a little bit more from Rory McGrath midfield as well, especially. We'll be, we'll be expecting a lot more from um, But after the performance, you know, um, four points, probably not too bad a position to be in, four points behind. No. And as we saw yesterday, if we keep plugging away and keep playing until the final whistle and keep scoring goals, I suppose <laughs> we have a chance of winning the game. Yeah, Leighton Massey is certainly a good man. To, you know, to he he good man to, to get a goal. I know we've had two goals so far. Leighton hasn't got either of them, but you know he, he can be very very dangerous if he gets the ball into his hand. In fairness to the the fullback there, he's playing him. He's very very tight. He's actually trying to get out in front of Leighton. Um, you know, playing from in front to stop Leighton getting that primary possession. But Leighton will keep plugging away and it just takes one ball into Leighton's hands and he'll route one, he'll he'll horse his man out of the way and he'll head for the goals. But we certainly will need those scores. Yeah, I think the guys, uh, CJ Murta, Darren O'Connor and John Enders be considering changes. I think we probably do need to do something about uh, Bernard McLaughlin. Yeah, I think so. He seems to be the liveliest here. He's, he's, he's at the scoring. Um, won five maybe of Boards Mills total and I know he was two a few of them were freeze but he's he's been very very good he's got a wonderful score here from play here just down in front of us as well so we have a cameraman coming here to join us uh, good morning a break from his double duty <coughs> James, James Andrews here joining us on the, the gantry uh, just hot off the press James we might uh, quiz you a bit um, <laughs> did you touch the ball there at uh, the end of the game yesterday uh, and some lads are saying you're claiming it and some are saying it's a bit of a bit of a goal goal uh, I claimed it, but after further video evidence, uh, I can now confirm that I did not touch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a goal for Dylan Farrell then, is oh, it? Goal for Dylan Farrell, yeah. I just, I just got in the way of Mac, got his uh, cut off his eye line. So did my best. Did my best to touch it, but I didn't touch it. And how was, how was the body today, James? Obviously, look a hard 60, 65 minutes yesterday. Um, I suppose you would have been a lot sore if we hadn't got the late goal. Yeah, you're right, Jay. Kind of the mind frame kind of suits the body. Uh, but yeah, sore. The legs are kind of heavy and weak and slow, but not, not as if they're ever fast. But yeah, I'm tired and I'm laboured. We're working last night as well. So okay, <laughs> good stuff. Yeah, he was looking after. He was looking after the rest of us last night, uh, James. So um, he couldn't enjoy. He couldn't take partake in, in the minor celebrations that we had. Nothing, nothing too outlandish. Now it's just a and a, a county final to look forward to, James. What's the what's the plan for this week? Do you know? Obviously, it's a primarily a football week and the build up to the intermediate final but probably a couple of light training sessions and um, then flat out from next week and well I suppose if we're taught who are the fancy team go through today they'll be in the same position as Trim really that they'll have a football final and a hurling final to prepare for Yeah I think that th- we haven't heard you but I presume we're not going to change anything We've, when it's a football week we normally just have our 12 or 13 lads up doing a little bit of light training ball, ball work bit of running on the Thursday and then gear up then towards the weekend for the Tuesday, but yeah, nothing, nothing mad. There's no point. And that's obviously worked well so yeah. far this year. Yeah, there's no point slogging lads because you only get them sour. And um, yeah, it's worked well. We ha- don't change anything because it, if it's work, don't change it. Yeah, that'll be the plan. All right, Molly. We're lucky here in Trim to have the facilities that we can, you know, take the hurlers only group just into the Astro maybe when the footballers need the fiddle pitch here for training, so we can still get a little bit of work done just to keep the hurls in the hands yeah and I suppose with the intermediate hurlers losing and the, the junior football being over uh, or Kenny's team the, the ju- Premier Reserve Division 8 the demand for pitches after 8 o'clock is probably a bit less at the minute Yeah. although the light is gone as well the so you only have one pitch available the light is gone so that's, uh, that's, that puts a bit of pressure on things you know up, up, to, la- up to a couple of weeks ago you know you could you could use any of the pitches but um with the light gone now, we have to obviously just work on the flood between the flood and the astro. But no, look, it's great to be having these uh, having these issues to be involved this time of the year. And the teams are just coming out to take their places here again. Yeah, uh, relatively quick half time. Relatively quick yeah. half time, which is again it's a feature I think with these uh, not ha- teams not going to the dressing rooms and out back out of dressing yeah. rooms. Half time seems to be fairly quick. We just have a little look here. We've got any changes? Don't see any changes just yet on the trim team. Well, there is. Yeah, uh, twenty. Who's that? Twenty. Robbie Kenny, yeah. Robbie Kenny has gone in for. I don't see Jamie Hackett who had a yellow. No, Jamie's gone midfield. I think there has a change there, as you predicted, Molly. The Ushie and Hackett seems to have gone yeah, back to wing yeah. back there on on uh, Bernard McLaughlin. On Bernard McLaughlin. So Ushie has probably just gone eighteen, and I'd wager. 
Bernard is 40 if not 41 the same as himself <laughs> <laughs> so it's Roman Keane has been has come off and it's Bertie that's gone on Jamie wins the throw in but he gets oh, good he luck. gets blocked he does well Jamie does well and it breaks to Carl Birmingham Carl with a high ball and this is the ball. oh it's gone over late and it's in towards Sean Foley Sean puts his hand up it breaks now here's the one we're talking about Leighton gets the ball in towards the goals flicks the ball unorthodox unorthodox style over the bar yeah, I'm, not I'm not sure if Leighton would prefer a penalty there or, yeah. or yeah. a little bit of discussion going on in the square between Leighton and the, and the board and Vinnie Guy so I'm not sure what the referee has signaled here I didn't see Maudie the, the ball ended He's up over the bar to umpire. He to his umpire the ball ended up over the bar so he's in consulting with his umpire. I think the way the game is going, I'd rather have the penalty than the point. Yeah. The referee still hasn't given a clear indication of what the decision is, but he's walking back out towards, he's walked past the 21 yard line here, so it looks like he's given the he's point, given I, the think. Point, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. Or is it a point? The score hasn't gone up on the board yet. So I, think that, I think that was a point. Yeah, it was a point, yeah. So Leighton's third point, 2 3 to trim. 1-9, boards mill. That ball down here in front of us. Owen Lennon in fighting, does well. Flicks it on, Rory McGrath trying to get involved. Players go to ground. Oh, oh it's a yeah. bad strike there. Bad strike there, but Owen can plays on. The referee has his hand out in advantage. In towards Andy O'Brien, it comes back. Yeah, I think even in the first 90 seconds there, a far brighter start from Trim uh, in the second half. Uh, looking much livelier than we did uh, throughout nearly all of the first half. So the referee was playing an advantage there. Owen Lennon just got a clipped on the side of the helmet there as he went through with that ball. The referee played the advantage and nothing happened. So we're back with the free now. Leighton, almost just 50 metres or so from the goals. Just steadying himself. Leighton <laughs> doesn't get a strike, plays it in, doesn't get a good strike, plays it in low. Trim forwards do well. Sean Foley in there. Sorry, that was Robbie Kenny who was in there, got a bit of a block, but Owen's Mill again coming out with the ball. Johnny Mack is a good position down the line here, but the ball doesn't get to him. It's the Boards Mill number nine, he's had a very good game, plays a nice ball down here. <coughs> you got to tell you, now Roman Keane is still on the field there, so we have to just work out who, who came off there for, for Trim. It's Kyle McCabe, I think, has gone off. Yeah, yeah. So the referee playing an advantage here in front of us <coughs> for a bit, of a, a bit of a slap. The referee has used the advantage rule well here today in fairness to him. He's let the game continue where he can, but uh, and if nothing has happened, he's brought the game back. Yeah, so I think he's, he's having a very good game. Uh, there's probably not a whole lot of, of aggression or bad tackles in it. Um, although he, he didn't speak to the, the boardsman guy that slapped uh, Ro or O'Lean in there a minute ago. Um, yeah, it could have been a yellow card. Yeah. But I think the, well, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. The trim lads got on with it. There was no, nobody giving out. Maudie's pal again here with the free. The striking has been good, but this time it's gone. He's isn't going to make the goals, it's gone wide. He's getting tired, Rory. I know what that feels like. <laughs> <laughs> the ball dropped there, a lot of lads pull on it, not for the faint hearted, but it's all worked out and it's gone wide. Yeah, uh, not a bad result for us with, with no score coming from that attack. Yeah, Evan with a quick puck out, down towards Jamie Hackett. <laughs> Bono went in there very strongly. Jamie pulls him, falls on top of the ball. The referee allows the play to continue. And the ball in junior hurling style played along the ground. Rowan Keane does battle and it's the wing back again, again along the ground. He's done very well. Oh, it's the trim. Yeah. Colin putting pressure on the ball there, managed to work the turnover. Rory McGrath has it. Jamie Hackett holding his helmet up. I think his helmet must have broken or something. Ball down towards Patchy Lennon, does well. Plays the ball down the line. Is it Robbie, is it? No, it looks like Andy. Oh, Andy O'Brien. Andy O'Brien has the option there to pop it off to Sean. He goes himself. It's a good strike, Mandy, but it's going to the right hand side. Yeah, I think a little ambitious by Andy there, it would have been a great score, um, might have been better off trying to get it into Leighton, Leighton looks like he, uh, he can do a bit of damage if we get the ball to him. That, well to the goalkeeper's right hand side, to the left as we look at it wide. So yeah, Jamie seems to put the helmet back on, I'm not sure what, uh, uh -huh. what the issue is. The ball down towards the dug outside, <coughs> Cahill Birmingham lets the ball over the line and it's going to be a sideline ball. I think it might be interesting to watch uh, Jamie Hackett and the nine for Boards Mill Bona. Bona for the rest of the game. Things are getting a little bit spicy. Yeah, they're they're swinging out of one another here, right in the halfway line here as the game continues over the far side. Again, no pressure on the ball there from, from no. the trim half forward. Rowan Keane does well in the air that time, breaks the ball down. 
towards Jack Dowling, he misses his pick. And they're working the ball nicely here at Boards Mill, out to the far side of the field, just crossing the 14 yard line, turns back inside that to his left. It's a good looking strike, but it's going across the face of the goals. Owen Lennon does well. <coughs> Owen Lennon does well underneath the ball there, just put his body yep. in there. And, uh, Owen used his body, all eight and a half stone of it there. <laughs> he, did, he did well though. Uh, good, uh, good play by, uh, by a young player. Ah, again, Boards Miller winning these puck outs far too easily. <coughs> Cahill trying to get the hook there. The ball goes back towards Bona. <coughs> Rory gets in, gets half a a block on it. Oh, oh. Sean Dixon. <laughs> oh, the ball goes through. Jack Dowling. Evan comes off his line. Tidy picks the ball up. Just moves to the side. Finds a bit of space. Lays it off to Jimmy. Jimmy turns onto his left. Uh -huh. Here's the ball towards the middle of the field. We have the numbers there. Well taken by Patchy Lennon. Straight. Ah, Patchy had time maybe to run that ball. But he played it in towards Andy. Is it Andy? Yeah, oh, just couldn't get it. Just couldn't get it in the first attempt. Leighton chasing out his man here. Leighton just doesn't have the legs. But that's what a carry on. And the ball is played again towards Eric. He gets past his first man now. Johnny Mack is working back. He forgets the ball. He turns back on it. Johnny has him bottled up. Turns him inside, turns him out. He plays a good looking ball across the goal. Ronan Keane underneath it. He's done well under the high ball today. Does well there. Gets a deflection on it. Jimmy swapping up. Can't get his pick. Gets it on the second or third time and clears his lines well. I think Carl Birmingham has overextended himself in that last tackle. He's, he seems to be injured over the far side. And the game is continuing here actually because Cahill has actually rolled off the pitch. Uh, the referee has stopped the game and has allowed. Yeah, we see the sub warming up here on the far side. Trim. So the referee allows. Oh sorry, has stopped the game to let Cahill a bit of attention. He, he slid in towards that tackle he just as Maud you said just overextended himself yeah and if I think we'd be grateful because he really should play on I suppose with Cahill's off the pitch but yeah yeah absolutely anyway Cahill is back fit to resume <coughs> trying to find a position it's a sideline ball here the far side <laughs> and this time the first uh Miss hit from Bert all day. This now Sean out in front of his man. He needs to get his pick. Misses it the first time. Misses it the second time. Knocks the ball to his own advantage. This time he gets his pick. But he slides and he's been bottled up well here. But he gets the ball out towards Andy O'Brien. Andy O'Brien, there's three or four oh. Portsville lads closing in on him. Andy ships a big tackle but takes the shot, but it's gone to the oh, I think that was right pretty much side. shoulder to helmet there. I think Andy was entitled to a free. I think he was looking for a free. <laughs> he's so. disappointed he didn't get it. Yeah. But Shawnee there needs to just up here two or three attempts to pick the ball there when he was out in front. We just need to be getting those, you know, those primary possession, that primary possession. And it's a long puck out from Vinny into the, into the. Half yeah, Owen Leanhan did well again there, yeah, just kind of leaning to his man. I think it was O'Shane, was it? No, uh, was Owen kind of gave his man a little nudge in the back. Yeah. To usher him off it. So Trim trying to up the intensity here in the middle of the field. The ball bouncing around, but it does clear. Boards Mill you know, a chance to clear the lines. O'Shane Hackett tries to get a, a block in. Jack Dowling there as well. And Owen Lennon comes back and misses the flick. Just a reminder of the score. It's 2-3 to trim, 1-9 to Boards Mill. Ball in towards, Danish ball in towards the goal. Evan comes off his line. Ah, does very well. Evan breaks the ball down in front of him. Has a little look to make sure there's nobody around him. Clears a long, long ball down. Andy O'Brien's caught in behind his man. <laughs> but his man flicks it up. And Patchy Lennon fortuitously gets the ball. Okay, puts it score. inside yeah. and gets a lovely okay, score. Yeah. As you said, uh, Rory there, we're a little bit fortuitous to get the ball, but a very good finish by Patchy. And uh, again, good play by Evan Corsi in goals. Came out, was decisive, won the ball, played it down the middle. The referee allowing a substitute to come in here for Boards Mill. Boards Mill are making a change in their, in their forwards here. Again, this is the youth policy in Boards Mill in play here. James Andrews indicating there's another man in his 40s here for coming on. does not great. Rory blocks the ball down, but there's not a trim player within 10 yards, 20 yards of him. But he does well to bottle his man up, who hand passes the ball over the line. So it's going to be a sideline ball for trim. Johnny Mack coming over to take it. Down here in front of us. The trim are still right in this game, Maudie. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The game seems to have opened up. It's a little bit stretched now. Uh, but again, need more from this man here, Rory. 
ball. Back to John. It's a great looking ball from Johnny. Is that going to be enough? Is there enough legs on it? Is there enough? Oh, yes. Great score, score from Johnny. Beautiful score. Great a little fist pump from Johnny as well. Encouragement to the rest of his teammates. Um, hopefully, you can uh, get us going again. 2 5, 2 5 to 1 9. That's a goal in the point for Johnny so far today. Jamie Hackett is under this ball. He gathers it. Gets a strike away. Now Trimmer got tails up. Now the ball in towards Andy O'Brien. Leighton is waiting with the ball in, oh, behind him. But again, his full back is out in front of him. Playing him very well. But he's under pressure this time. That's better. Oh. A little soft. A little soft. A little bit soft there. <coughs> but again, um, Andy was out in front there. And Sean has been out in front a couple of times. So a little bit more promising in the forward line for us. Yeah, absolutely. Andy 20. I think the, the confusion I'm having here, I just noticed, is that uh, Robbie Kenny is wearing 20 and Andy O'Brien is wearing 20, so that's why I was getting confused and decided to see which trim player was going for the ball. The new guy has come off his line to take the, uh, the free. Strikes the ball down this side. <laughs> Jimmy's Bona has moved, into, moved inside to the full forward line, which will get Jimmy, provide Jimmy with some hassle. But Eric is running through here, gets a shot away, and it's blocked. Oh, off Ronan Keane, almost, yeah. <laughs> almost a repeat of the first goal that Boaz Mill had on the first, got in the first half, where the trim defender deflected the ball out of the away from the goalkeeper. But this time, for trim, luckily for trim, the ball just squirmed past the post, and it's going to be a 65. Yeah, I think if Boaz Mill are going to leave uh, Brona or Rona in there on, uh, on Bonner, Jimmy Bonner. Bonner, we'll have to we'll have to make it look and change there because uh, he's going to have a little bit too much pace for Jimmy. So it's a one point game here at the moment. Boards Mill 1 9. I haven't scored since the, since the second half started, but it's Trim 2 5. It's a 65 here from Bert. Logan, that's a lovely strike. I ah, striking the ball very yeah, well today. Yeah, that's yeah, a fabulous score. score. Yeah. A change for Trim. Not sure uh, what the change is yet. Oshin Hackett left that forward, has gone off. Yeah, I'm surprised at that. I thought Oshin was going well. Yeah. I think that's. Is that Connor McGinley? I think it's coming on. Uh, James, that Connor? Uh. Johnny in there. Gets something on like this better now. That's it. Better from Trim. Patsy Lennon is there. Just can't get his pick. Not for the faint hearted in there, the way the challenges are going. But Patsy does well. He kicks it forward. Jack Dowling is here as well. He seemed to move out from his corner back position. And it's all there on the ground, still to be played for. Patchy does well, he reads the ball, it comes through him. Plays a good ball down the line, Andy O'Brien under it this time. But again, there's two Boards Mill players there. Andy battling hard, but in vain this time. And the ball is cleared down the line. <coughs> oh, oh, Lennon, Lennon didn't seem to be looking at the ball there at all. The referee allows play to go, and it's Bona inside, doing very well. He's running and running and running. The referee's playing an advantage again. Plays the ball inside, and I think that, that time... Uh, Bono was fouled as he was running there. Yeah, I think Owen Lennon gave away two or three frees there. It was finally called for a, a foul on, on Bona. Uh, yeah, as you said, he, he wasn't Owen wasn't looking for the ball when he, when he went to uh, contest it. Probably should have been a free. And the referee is booking him, I think. Yeah. <laughs> two boards mill lads having a bit of a chat there as well. Yeah, I see that. I don't know what that, what's going on there. But the, the, the I think Bona's a little bit annoyed with the challenge. He wants to go back and talk to the referee. Uh -huh. Bernard McLaughlin was trying to stop him yeah so another free for board mill another fan another lovely score he's, he's splitting the posts every time then yeah, looking down yeah. striking but the ball those today. couple of points now are after taking the, the win out of our sales a little bit we, we probably need the next score 111 boards mill 2-5 trim johnny breaks the ball down i think that's i think that's connor well done connor yeah the ball is played and jack dowling plays the ball in now sean foley and he misses his pick that's Robbie, I think is it Robbie? Yeah, that's Robbie. Late the ball now across. The goals. Goes through everybody. Can Andy O'Brien get there? Rory needs to get in a bit stronger than that and help. This time he puts the puts his foot down and gets in. But again, boards will clear the line. That's going to go everybody over everybody. Owen does very well. That does very uh, well. He yeah. picks the ball up. He's under all sorts of pressure. Does well. Lays it off to Patchy. Patchy plays a great ball across the goals. Can we get something on this? The ball breaks right the way through. Robbie is there. He Robbie somebody has to come the out. Somebody's got to come out to the 14, the 21 yard line from. He turns inside, but he's he's going nowhere. This time he does play the ball at the Sean Fold. He gets his pick. Goes for goal, and it's, he should have maybe taken his point. Yeah, he yeah, abso abso there. absolutely he should have taken the point. Yeah, we we need the next score here. Jack Dowling is playing up the forwards now. Doesn't gets hooked. 
Got his pick, we get to put Sean Foley is in there. Ah. Oh, Sean. A little bit lazy by Sean there. A little bit lazy, just kind of a lazy pull there. Could have contested the ball a bit stronger. He's probably a bit disappointed with himself he didn't tap the last one over. I think so, and it was, you say, a lazy pull, and the referee was right there and has awarded the free out to Boards Mill. But before, it's going to be the water break now before the free can be taken. But as you say, Maudie, Trim were right back in it. We had the game back to a point, but then Boards Mill was tagging on a couple of points there to just put a little bit of daylight. But it's still there for Trim. I think if they can just up it and. and we're a little bit more lively in the forwards yeah, than we were yeah. in the first half. Yeah, you wouldn't rule us out getting another another goal or two. So the game is a little bit stretched. Uh, you wouldn't rule out Boards Mill getting a goal or two is, is the flip side of that. But yeah, definitely our best 15 minutes of the, the game so far. So for the final time now, the management teams <coughs> had a chance to have a little word with our players. Yeah, I think we might just mention... Uh, Vicky Douglas and the ground staff here in Trim. The, the pitch looks in great order. I know there was a number of games here yesterday. Uh, and we had the, the LGFA finals last week and uh, the pitch looks in great condition. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Beautiful morning for Might also for mention uh, the Reds TV uh, main sponsor, Tommy Leanahan. Uh, I think he might have got some money back off uh, some of the, the Reds TV staff last night and, and, and some members of Trim GA. All within the rules, Marty. Oh uh, yeah, and all uh, supporting our uh, local businesses. <laughs> so a nice crowd of people here this morning around the, around the fence here down below us, enjoying the the hurling. Just uh, I think the other semi-final in this grade was played yesterday evening, Marty. You were you were filling me on the results there. I was, on. yeah, doing a little bit of research for you. Uh, Dundary beat St Pat's uh, by four points. Uh, I think it was five ten four nine. Uh, yeah, James Andrews beside me here is after uh, very, surpri very surprised by that. Uh, trim got a bit of a, a trimming off St. Pat's earlier, and, and, and I think it was felt by the trim management. St. Pat's were very strong at, at this level, uh, it, it would be their first team. Um, so, a bit of a surprise result there. Yeah, I, I wasn't at the trim uh, St. Pat's match this year, but I saw Pat's playing a couple of times last year, and um, yeah, they were very good. They were very good, so I was very surprised now. Um, it must have been a great performance from Dunderry yesterday to get across the line there. Yeah, and I suppose Pat, they kind of have a huge pick up there. They are, they are keeping hurling going at, at that end of the county, doing a little bit of Absolutely. great it's work fabulous, at yeah. underage, underage level as well. Yeah, it is. Fair play to them. So here we go now, the last passage of play. A reminder of the score, 111 boards mill, 2-5 to trim. Oh, do you stop the stopwatch here for the yeah, water break? He's more efficient now for the second half. Yeah. You know, Adam Boyle, I see, is on here for trim to the half forward line. Yeah, Adam was a very good under eye turner. He was uh, out injured for a lot of last year with a, with a knee injury. And that change that you suggested, Maudie, has been made there. Trim have put uh, Jamie Hackett, who was who was minding uh, Bonner in the middle of the field, they put him back in full back to, to follow him in. And Jimmy is now out here. Around the middle, yeah, on the, yeah. Middle, on the half yeah, forward half, line, yeah. Half forward, yeah. Yeah, I think Jimmy would have been under pressure there with a uh, with ball out in front of uh, Bonner. So we start with a free. Vinny has come out to take the free. Drops out Dane. There's long ball in. Jamie Hackett one handed under. You know, didn't get much on oh, it. And the ball is running a bit of pressure, but Evan is there. Carl Birmingham is there. And Trim do well to clear the lines. Carl turns back, plays the ball towards Jimmy. Jimmy Canty. Oh, he played the ball ah. on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I think Jimmy, Jimmy won't thank Colin for the pass there, no. put him under a little bit of pressure. Colin could have probably struck it off his left, if he had a little bit more hurling under his belt. So it's a 21 yard free for Trim. Very taking his time walking over. As I said, uh, Rory is probably 40, 41 years of age, he's probably a little bit tired now to stay 45 minutes gone. Uh, he'll be very proud of his efforts today, he's had a super game. Just takes his time, steadies himself. Yeah. The ball over the bar. Straight over the red spot nearly every time. Yeah, yeah no, he's been very accurate, very, very, very accurate. Quick puck out towards Adam Boyle. Again, there's two Boards Mill players there. Every time the ball breaks, there's two Boards Mill players there. Trim just haven't been out of level of intensity. And Adam is penalised yeah. for pulling at the arm, I think, of the, the hurley of the of his marker yeah, there. I think the, the Boards Mill wing back there and the Boards Mill supporters can sense that's that's a big one for them to win. You know, a, a, another point here will make a one thirteen to two five, and you know all the momentum with Boards Mill at the minute. So 
So Portsmouth at the moment are four points clear. Bert was free here in front of us on the 65 yard line. It's another fabulous strike, but this time I think it's just drifting. Drifting. Yeah, probably at the very edge of his uh, of his distance there and try to hit a little bit too hard. Um, sacrifice a little bit of accuracy. High puck out from the and straight down the middle of the ground. Player, two boards mill players go for it. <laughs> Drops on that and gets a little bit of stick on it. <coughs> Second or third time of asking Boards Mill to get the ball up. A Danis ball and Jamie just slips and it's well taken ball out. We're under pressure here. Jamie trying to pulls him back, but the referee is allowed to play the ball. And there. that's it. Oh, what a save! Oh, great save. What an amazing save there from Evan. He flicked the ball, it was looked destined to the top corner of the net. A diving save and Evan flicks the ball over. And I don't know what Bona is complaining to the referee for. He was fouled as he went through, but the referee allowed play to continue. Yeah, and he yeah. the, 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 the referee might have been, or Bona might have been looking for him to uh, give a yellow card to Jamie. Johnny Mack with a great dangerous ball in towards Leighton. Ball breaks. Oh, and it just doesn't break Trim's way. Jack Dowling is up there now. Just didn't break his way. <coughs> Another good ball here. Oh, oh and Carl is gone the second yeah. time. He slipped. He's hobbling, but it's a lovely looking ball going in. Oh, it's hit the post oh, and got over score. the bar. It's a great score. Portville, the tail's up, really, the tail's up now. 114 to 25. Trim's uh, period of dominance in the game has long, long gone, disappeared. Portville, the tail's up now. Johnny goes in one handed, moves the ball forward. Jimmy Canty is now down there. Bat Patty Lennon blocks it to Rory McGrath. Rory moves, looks for options. Decides to play the ball in high in towards the square. Leighton is underneath it. There's two or three players there. The ball again breaks Boards Mills' way. When Jimmy Canty now in the half forward line. Trying to work the ball back. Because even though he turns onto his left hand side, plays it in towards Jack Dowling. <coughs> but again, Boards Mills clear the lines. Ah, uh, well hooked. Adam Boyle there working back. It's a good block, a good hook, should I say. Patchy Landon wins the clear. Can he score from the middle of the field? He does. Oh, he had a clean strike. Bit, yeah. Yeah, he had a lot of time there, Patchy. Yeah, yeah, he had a lot of time and he put it wide. But Boards Mill certainly are fired up here now. 19, almost 20 minutes gone in the second half. 114, Boards Mill, 2 5 trim. Yeah, you, you probably feel, Rory, we uh, we need a goal pretty shortly to, to get a bit of a foothold back in this game now with 10 minutes to go. Puck out down towards the far side, Colin McGinley underneath it. Ball breaks here. Their own Rory McGrath knocks the ball in and Trim just can't get anything, any purchase at all here in the forward line Leighton does well he kicks the ball but again all the breaks seem to be going towards Boards Mill Leighton in there horsing his man out of the way again Adam picks it up and is fouled yeah Adam Boyle's done well since the commander the last few minutes got on a couple of balls yeah he has he's, he's, he's going hard for the ball this time Johnny Mack has decided to take over the free taking duties Leighton's moved inside, Johnny, with the free. Low trajectory again, but over the bar, good score by Johnny. Johnny's been in and out of the game, like, you know, when he's prominent, he's very good. We, we need a big last 10 minutes from him here. <laughs> like Leighton's position inside the 21 yard line, where he shouldn't, where he shouldn't be. There's all sorts of stuff happening here. Jamie and Bone are still at it here down the, in the full back line now. I'd be very surprised if both of these players make it to the final whistle. Uh, Molly. Yeah, there's uh, like one is after grabbing the hurry off the other <laughs> and, and vice versa. Johnny getting back into the game. Adam with a lovely pick. Gets a strike. Yeah, a good strike, good yeah. ball in towards, but it's a, a high ball in towards Sean. He's in behind yeah. him. A little bit of nudge in the back. He gets away with it. He gets his pick. He tries to take his man on. He does. This time he goes inside. Can he? Oh. He tried to play. Probably the right thing there. He tried to play the ball back to Patchy Lennon at the 21 yard line, but the execution wasn't there. Ball goes out of everybody's head. Jimmy Canty is there. A little bit of nudge in the back. Jimmy falls. Very <laughs> Ballet like <laughs> and Trimsley's <laughs> policy I see is, is being brought to the fore here yeah. now here the yeah, demo. Here comes demo demo comes on into the full forward line he's striding in there with purpose okay. and it's is it Robbie Kennedy they're, they're taking back I off I think it looks like it I think demo's instructions are very clear plonk himself on the square I think right in front of the goals yeah, with and with, uh, pull with, and pull and with, with Leighton and Demo in front of him, the goalie's not going to see a whole lot of daylight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rory just used uh, ballet to describe Jimmy's uh, <laughs> fall to the ground there. It's, uh, it's a long time since anyone described him as balletic. <laughs> <laughs> and 
towards Miller trying to get the, the Bona back into the game a little bit moving on the field but Johnny with a good free yeah, another good strike from Johnny yeah. two scores in a row for Trim there uh, badly needed it has his back in the game down to three points and uh, is it that yeah, Demo looks like he's going to play within the post there himself and Leighton, so yeah. we're looking for goals. Not sure if there was an injury with, with Robbie Kenny or, or what the story was. Hadn't got on an awful lot of balls since he came on. Great puck out from guy. Jamie's winding up for a big pull here and he misses it and the ball has gone through to his man. But Owen Lennon is working back. We're under, under trouble here. Uh, Owen Lennon does well. well. Gets his man turned, but he has an option. He passes the ball across, and it's a great block from Ronan Keane, and a great block by Evan De Courcy. And a <laughs> Ronan Keane somehow got back on his line and cleared the line. Great defending there. And Conor McGinley oh, tries to play the ball to Jimmy, but it's just too far for Jimmy. And it's going to be a score, a resulting yeah, score here from Bears Mill. Yeah, that's a bit of a killer there after pulling yeah, off the after, after great defending, I suppose. Maybe not a bad result that we didn't give away a goal. Two trim lads got caught under the ball, left Bona. Uh, kind of in behind he was he didn't contest it and should have been a goal really for Boards Mill and then we had it cleared us but gave it away Johnny gets his hand up Jimmy goes down this time he doesn't get the free Conor McGinley is okay the referee has, has given a free this time yeah, Conor McGinley also has, has been uh, positive since he came on there the last few minutes uh, Conor and, and Adam both two lads just out of minor Free. Yeah, we can hear a demo uh, directing affairs. Um, and interestingly, Johnny must, must be one they worked on the training ground. <laughs> <laughs> coming up. Interestingly, Johnny, who's tapped over the last yeah. couple of frees, has left this ball and he's gone into the square himself. I wonder whether Jimmy is going to try and drop. Yeah, this I one think in. Trim were a little bit early in, in kind of dropping balls into the square here. There's still six or seven minutes left. Yeah. John, Johnny is in there. It breaks off demo. <laughs> demo goes to the ground. Balletically. <laughs> Free out. Like a rugby, like a rugby number seven there, going for, going for the ball, but um, it's a free out. Yeah, I think you're right there. I think the trim had time. Johnny had struck yeah. the last couple quite well. You know, he could have maybe just topped up. Yeah, the scoreboard as we, yeah, as we saw yesterday. Um, um, I think Kieran Joyce and, and Dougie both at times um, just kept the scoreboard ticking over when, when we needed a score. And uh, again, maybe we would have been a little bit out of his range here, but I think a point would have been an okay result for us there. So there's five minutes to go. Boards Mill 115, Trim 27. The ball's here, Jack Dowling in the middle. Oh. I panicked a little bit there, he had a bit more time, I think, there. But the ball has come to own. Lennon, who's playing a very good game here for Trim, plays the ball towards Demo. Demo uses all his pace to try and get there, but it's just not quite pacey enough. But he does well, he battles there, but there's two Boards Mill again players again. Every time the ball goes uh, to ground, Boards Mill seem to have two players there, and it's only one or two of the trim players are really digging in deep. Owen Lennon here has had a very good yeah, game. Owen Lennon definitely one of trim's uh, better players in the second half out in front there. Although uh, Demo will be thanking him for uh, the ball into the corner, into space. He, uh, you know, Demo and Leighton, they want to direct the hand or overhead. Another change, uh, John Flood coming in for Boards Mill. He's actually older than me. <laughs> The youth policy again coming yeah, through. Absolutely. Is, is this going to inspire your comeback, Molly? We've, we've mentioned that already, James. Oh. We've tried to encourage him to come back and make a comeback already. He's doing enough running around the street, the road I to trim there. He's we, well fit. We need a, a fifth or sixth team, I think, for me to, <laughs> to be making a comeback with the numbers we have. Rory McGrath through. gets on the ball in the middle of the field, strikes it off his left. This time out from the Sean Foley. Sean needs to get the possession. Yeah, again, he doesn't clean, get her yeah. cleanly, and then he rushes the. He rushes. Little collision off little the ball there. The ball. Leighton has gone down. Yeah. I think he'll be all right. Possibly theatrically. Yeah. The we're getting, we're the getting all now. the arts here this after today. Dana's ball in there towards Sean Dixon, but Ronan Keane has done very well actually. Did for very Trim. well, yeah. He's, he's been very, very courageous there under the you know umpteen attack, attacks there from Boards Mill, and he wins the free. Yeah, I think we are with three minutes to go. We're probably just going to see Trim start to launch uh, the few long balls in on top of Demo and Leighton. Uh, but again, Sean Foley was out in front and, and missed the pick. You know. Sean has be, has been getting out in front here in the second half, but the ball is just not sticking to him. So, boards mil milking the clock here a little bit, let's say. Players down. Can't blame them for that. We'll probably do the same ourselves. Evan De Courcy is going to take the free. Crowded goal melt down here in front of us. You know, the aura end. Lots of bodies there. Do it again. 
We're ready to go. Evan lifts. Launches a high one. It's going to drop about 30 yards short of the goals. Ah, ah great catch. Lovely, lovely catch there. <laughs> the Bosch Mill halfback line has played very well here today. Good ball. Goes through every week. And Carl get there. Carl tries to get a swipe on it. Connor McGinley is there. Does well. Carl picks up the pieces. And again, launches the big ball in. But again, the high ball is going towards Sean Foley. The ball breaks. This time, Sean gets it. Tries to play it on. Does. Onto Leighton. Leighton is under three or four men around him. Leighton tries to barrel towards the goals. But he gets horsed out of it. And it's going to be a free out here. It's going to be a free out here. Yeah, Leighton was, you know, outnumbered there, running into he four was. or five. Um, bit of pushing and shoving here. Again, it probably suits Boards Mill West a little bit of time. Ah, it certainly does. It certainly does. Referee and trying to sort the whole lot out. I think it, I still think it's going to be a, is it going to be a free out. Boards Mill, or is he going to throw the ball in? Just in the stern talking to some of the players here. No cards or anything coming out just yet. It looks like he's going to throw the ball in. Yeah. <laughs> Worked out well for Trim there. Oh, no, no, he's no, going to get free. He's walking no. away. Interesting to see that Demo was pushing away his little nephew from the road. So, the new guy. Found maturity. <laughs> <laughs> the new guy ready with the Is that a free. <laughs> Doesn't quite get a great strike on it that time over everybody's head. Carl Birmingham on the ground trying to get a piece of it. He does. He's got Jamie Hackett there as an option that he wants to play it to him. Decides to clear it himself with half a ball, but it's close. Adam Jamie steps in, takes the ball from Adam. Jamie plays the ball. Here we go. This is the ball the ball we're looking for. In towards Leighton. Everyone's all over. The ball drops to Demo. Demo winds up. Oh, he, he hits it. He hits it straight into Leighton. That was the chance we were looking for. And that was the chance we were looking for. And boards will clear the lines, and it's down here in front of us. Sean Dixon gets the ball. Oh! Uh, a silly foul by Johnny there. He's, uh, you know, Sean Dixon was going nowhere. Really. Going nowhere. There was two players around him. Jamie Hackett and Johnny Mack were there. Yeah, no, I don't think Sean is seriously hurt here. Might be a little bit winded, but uh, yeah. I think he's just playing down the clock a little bit. I think so. The new guy encouraging him to get up off the ground. Maybe he was just having a rest. Yeah, I think Sean is, is seeing he's 80, 90 metres from goals and he's not looking forward to the jog back up. A little smile, I think, at the sideline as well there. The new, the new guy way out was goals to take the free. Didn't strike the last one too well. This is a much better strike. <coughs> Dangerous looking ball. In towards the goal. Jamie Hackett underneath it. Clears the ball well. Can we get there? Rory Turns McGrath the comes there. Rory gets down. Nice pick. Turns. Pops the ball off to Jamie. Jamie just gets there. Jamie decides to kick it, but he kicks it straight at the boards middle player. That's just sums up yeah, Jim's I think day. I think. Jamie's uh, hurl was broken, as James said. In the and now the Jamie's last out of position. And there's an overlap here. And boards middle trying to work it in towards the goals. This time he turns and oh. it's over the bar. Trim off the hook there a little bit. But yeah, an open goal there for uh, Bona. And I suppose, look, at this stage, a, a point will do for Boards Mill, but you really should have scored a goal. Yeah, 116, uh, Boards Mill 2 7, right. trim. Johnny again, Johnny again concedes the free. I think it will be a show push in the back. Yeah, look, the last four or five minutes have, have really kind of suited Boards Mill in, in running down the clock. A, a few kind of silly, niggly fouls by Trim have slowed down the game. and even the freeze the trim have got have, have slowed down the game and look it looks at this stage like like Boardsville are going to see it out for two minutes over so we've a free from the middle of the field Bernard McLaughlin he's kind of got out of the game the last couple of minutes but he's had a super game dangerous strike but it's dropping in around the goals it's still alive and it's played across the goals and the referee, I think, blows the final whistle. And all over here in St. Omens Park. Boards Mill run out deserved winners, I think. 116 to 2-7. Trim just 
bar for that five or ten minutes after half time, Maudy, Trim were never really uh, in the game. No, we never really got, got, got going the there. Uh, I mean, <sighs> we were quick enough to take down the score from the scoreboard there. But uh, yeah, look, I suppose the first half performance probably gave us an awful lot to do. I think we got it back to a point after seven, eight minutes of the second half, or, or maybe a little bit longer. Uh, but Borch Mill have, have seen out the game the stronger. I mean, it's. I suppose on a positive note, it is the first year in a long time the Trim have, have fielded a third adult team in Hurling. Um, like today there we had Evan de Corsi Tobin in goals, um, Oshin Hackett wing forward, Owen Lennon yeah. wing back who was very good, yeah. Sean Foley, uh, Adam Boyle come on, Conor McGinley come on. That's five or six lads there, who, you know, the first year out of minor. And we, the club needs to be giving those lads games to, to keep them involved, keep them going. That they can hopefully make the step up to the intermediate team next year or in two years time you know as we had uh, Danny Coleman Gary Fleming involved with the intermediate team yesterday James Murray uh, I think is the only one with the seniors like it's a there's a big step up for those lads coming out of minor and you know the third team here at this level it's giving them games okay there was no league this year because of of Covid but hopefully we can get more games for them next year absolutely so it's a positive notes that we're going to sign off from, from St. Lomans. I think we may actually keep an eye on the Facebook page. I think um, for a first for Reds TV tomorrow we're going to be covering a juvenile uh, game over in Trim versus Navin O'Mahony's. So keep an eye out for the details of that on our Facebook page. So thanks very much for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.